Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Well, I uh, decided to make sure the uh, disk drives are behaving correctly. Um, I was seeing some intermittent problems with the uh, drives. We'll take a look at that. Um, so these are the drives. This thing is really, really heavy. Uh, these things are uh, uh, big blocks of aluminum with uh, all the mechanisms in them. Uh, these are half-height drives. The original 8-inch uh, drives were, were, were the size of two of these. And uh, they, um, they connected uh, with these connectors. Uh, there's a, a range of voltages uh, that are needed. Um, there's two supplies in here. Uh, this supply is a 24 volt and this is plus or minus 5. Um, I think that's all that's in here. And um, obviously home built. Uh, I found the case uh, back in the early 80s. I don't remember where I found the case. Uh, they probably were available back then. Um, and had uh, some power supplies that I removed from other pieces of equipment. So this is all home built. <laughs> My lovely wiring. Um, and uh, I just added a switch to it. It never had a, a power switch. Uh, it always had a uh, just plug it in and, and leave it on um, and uh, I found it inconvenient so I just added this uh, uh, power switch on the back um, which we can turn on. Uh, I have a couple LEDs uh, make sure the plus and minus five are working. I don't know why I don't have an LED on the 24 I guess. Uh, I don't know why. Um, and there's a, a ribbon cable uh, that goes, uh, uh, this 50 pin ribbon cable that snakes through here and at each disk drive there's an edge connector. So there's three edge connectors uh, connected to the three drives. And um, there, there's a, a jumper, a Berg jumper uh, location uh, on, the, on the bottom side of these drives that allows you to select which one's A, B, and C. Uh, this is the A drive, the B drive, and the C drive is down there. Um, and I guess I ran out of money to buy a, uh, another one. Um, I remember the fellow who sold these to me, I think they fell off a truck, and uh, he had some, and, and these, are, these are the ones that he had, and they were a great price, so I updated them. Um, they, they're nice because they're smaller, smaller, uh, but they're also dual density. Um, so instead of the the reed head only uh, going from one side uh, on t onto the disc. There's actually two reed heads that uh, read both top and bottom of the drives. Um, and other than that, uh, I need to somehow make sure the ribbon cable is not bunched up anywhere. And uh, we'll put it back together. All right, got the case back together. This large expanse here is just right for uh, putting the MSI on. Uh. Ouch. There we go. All right. So we need to uh, connect the cable, which is way too long, but to work. Alright. Make sure that's seated. And it should be should be ready to go. Need to hook up the serial cable. Serial cable and power, and uh, let's see the boots. Okay, uh, power on sequence is I will uh, turn the power on to the disk drives. I can hear the fan. I should probably put a light in the front so I know that they're on. Uh, we'll power up 
Fire up the MSI. Reset. Uh, F00. Disk is in. There we go, it works. And how do I know that it works? Because it makes a distinctive sound every single time when it boots CPM. So if it makes that sound, I know it's up and running. Uh, I'll, I'll record that sound so you, you guys can hear it. Almost plays a little song. Pum 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 pum.